video is how to hook up a TriStar variable speed 950 to so a equalizer. I've already got the front panel off of this, but there's just three 516 screws that, that pop out real easy. Take the front panel off. We're going to connect this communication wire that I've already run. Just run it up through this little hole. This is going to connect up here to this little plug. Run the communication wire back down here into the back of the pump. I had to take out one of these plugs. And this little thing that the wire goes into connects or it comes in the baggie with the wire. You just thread it into the back, put the wire through, and then you tighten that nut onto the back. So that's what we're going to do. This little plug right here stays in if we're using the pump independently of the ProLogic. So if you want to use this display screen here, you don't do anything. You just keep that hooked up there and don't touch the dip switches. We're wanting to use the ProLogic, so we're going to take that out. This little plug is also in the package. This is going to go in the place of that plug. And what we're going to do, we want to hook up our black wire right there is going to hook into terminal 2 at the pump and it's going to hook into terminal 2 on the, uh, on the pro logic. So you just want to match those up. And vice versa, we're going to put the other wire in terminal 3, which is B. It's going to go into 3 up here in that terminal. And then our ground wire is going to go to the comm or terminal 4. So this, you need a tiny little screwdriver. I've got a broken off knife because I don't have a tiny screwdriver with me. But we're just gonna loosen up our first terminal two. We'll slide our black wire in there and we'll tighten it up. And you do the other three the same way. Now we have all of these wires in. We've got black on terminal A or terminal two. Yellow is on terminal B, which is also terminal 3, and the ground wire there on COM, or terminal 4. Now we're just going to plug it in. So now this little plug just kind of pops into place like that. Just kind of push it down. And then you've got dip switches down here. You just want all your dip switches to be down in order for it to communicate with the car logic. What I like to do just to give myself some more room to work is just pop that. Little, little terminal out and then you can loosen up those terminals a lot easier with a little more room to work so again we're just going to match this up top here so that top one is going to is going to be empty terminal two is going to match up with the black wire terminal three the yellow wire terminal four and the, and the ground okay we got all our wires hooked up here i like to give them all a little tug just to make sure we're nice and snug this is going to go back up here, pop that into place, and we'll turn all our breakers back on, and we'll set it up to communicate with the ProLogic and the configuration. So now we're going to go into menu until we get to configuration, hold down left and the right arrow, scroll over and get to filter configuration. This is going to be variable speed, lowest speed, we'll say 10%, highest speed, we'll go with 100%, freeze protect, we want enabled, freeze protect speed 50%, that's okay, temperature 33, that's okay, and we'll hit menu button to exit, and hit the filter button to turn that on, Choose our speed. Let's say speed two. Hit the right arrow. And let's see what happens. It's kept on. And we're good to go. I'm gonna put this cover back on. There's a gasket right there. Don't forget your gasket. And it just goes on like that. 
the screws are 